They'll be staying with me this weekend. Are you going to be around? Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Mm, the good stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Okay. Oh, and thank you for the Thai noodles last night. No problem. That was really nice. I guess this is where you go in, right? I don't know. Right. Come on. It's gonna be fine. Ms. Armstrong, I'm Ellen Parker, the principal. Kate, you must be Zoe. Very nice to meet you. Hello. I'll take you to the classroom if we meet your teacher. There has to be someone better suited to this. I have no idea what to do with a kid, especially one who's lost her mother. How do their minds work? I can't get Zoe to eat anything I make. What am I supposed to do, force her? Maybe she misses her mother's cooking. My sister never cooked. She reheated. Well, that's the point. Uh, maybe Zoe needs something more familiar, less uh, sophisticated. Uh, what did you eat when you were a kid? It's not the same. What do you mean? My mother was an amazing cook. Of course, I was the only one who appreciated it. And after your mother passed away, did your father take over the cooking? No. He didn't take over anything. We were lucky if he even saw him at dinner. So who took care of the two of you? Can we not get into this right now? Okay. What about fish sticks? Kids love them. Fish sticks? Yeah, you know, they're frozen and breaded. I know what fish sticks are. I just can't believe I'm paying for these suggestions. Fish sticks. Did you learn anything interesting? No. Anything uninteresting? No. How was your teacher? Bald. Well, that's interesting. Ta da! Fish sticks. You know, I was thinking the other day, I know so little about you. I mean, we're family, but I don't even know what your favorite color is. Red. Red? See, I didn't know that. I love red. Red's a great color. What's your favorite number? No, you don't have to do this. Do what? Try so hard. Coming! Hi, I'm Charlotte. The agency? You expect to get out of Charlotte? No. So can I come in or what? Oh, sure. Come on in. Excuse me, one I told you, I don't need a babysitter. I'm not a baby anymore. So what am I supposed to do? I just can't leave you here alone all the time. Why not? I'm perfectly fine. Zoe, you barricaded the door, remember? I charge him when I get here, you know. Yeah. Oh, I see you've brought something to read to Zoe. It's for my thesis. Rapidly mutating deadly viruses. You know, like Ebola, that sort of thing. Well... Have fun at work. 22 Bleaker, can I help you? Table for five. Yes, I can see you at now. I know. Yes. And how do you want the sea bass prepared tonight? Tell them they're going to be served to some very important people.
You don't like music? It's distracting my staff. Nick, you're all right. Pavarotti makes sex so much better. Glad to hear it. Pacelli's good, too, but only for shallow one-night stands. Tonto <laughs> <laughs> food, belly, now. Yeah. Thank you. you. Hey, thank you. you. Me plus baby. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Bernadette. Bernadette. Large. Oh, that's it. James, James. it's Richard. It's gonna be. I think yeah. all men. No. I, I think I can handle it. Good luck. <laughs> John. Perfecto. Gracias. Yeah. Oh no, thank you. Delicious chef. Blues. Only a full cook can really judge food. When you're hungry, everything tastes better than it really is. I never eat in the afternoon. Well, I don't know about that, man. I mean, you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My grandmother whispered this recipe into my ear on her deathbed. She brought it over from the old country, and I made it especially for you today. I thought your grandmother lived in Miami. Well, you know. Thought we'd be all thought she wasn't gonna make it. It was like a miracle. <laughs> it was a miracle. You took care of those, didn't you?